Let's continue. Obito had declared the fourth great ninja war, and it was about to reach its climax. With the allied shinobi forces standing with Naruto and Madara fighting alongside Obito, the fight turned extremely chaotic. It became exceedingly difficult to drive back the combined forces of Obito and Madara. Finally, Ten Tails came into being, and Obito took in its power. Jeez, after that, it seems like they'd be toast. Just as they had Naruto cornered, a certain ninja appeared, foreshadowing a dramatic change of events in battle. It was Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, Sasuke? It's only a matter of time before the infinite Tsukuyomi activates! That's what the matter is. Your war has ended. No, it hasn't. Sasuke and I are still here! Seems to me that these two could be Obito, even infused with the Ten Tails, right? The power of Ten Tails is equal to the Sage of the Six Paths. And with ordinary strength, it would be difficult to cause even a hint of damage. Anyone could do it from the ninja world back then. It would only be Naruto and Sasuke. Plus, we've got these two rivals who are actually friends teaming up to fight. This is getting really intense. Up to this point, due to a barrage of attacks from Ten Tails, as well as Obito and Madara, many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Your uncle. Neji Hugo was a monk. Yeah, I know about that. You're weak! I'll hit you! The losses were so heavy, even Naruto was overcome with despair. When at his lowest, the one who reached out to see him was none other than your mother, Hinata. Today, Naruto is a pillar of the ninja world. But here he was just the opposite. It took that small hand of your mother's to move his feet. Gotcha. to the next one. With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the Allied Shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. You cannot defeat me. I am the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid. We're gonna defeat you. Huh. You, Madara. Ah, oh, it's course. different again. What happened this time? He encountered the sage of the six paths in the spiritual realm, between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they fought for his power. Life and death? Both of them were mortally wounded by Mara. Huh? So they both died? They didn't die, but were on the precipice of death. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Is this for real? I mean, how did he get that claw with him? 
fucking strong is this Madara Uchiha? I don't know. I guess Madara was obsessed with creating that infinite Sukiyomi. Madara was trying to destroy the ninja world. But it wasn't always this way. He was once a noble man. Dude, are you serious? Madara was compassionate? He lost his beloved brother, broke away from his friend Hashirama, and was betrayed by his clan. A series of tragic events combined to make Madara into the man he is today. Well, the time has come to lead this fight. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra. And unify it once more. Flame control! Ah, who the hell is that? Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She is known as the Rabbit Goddess, the Demon, and the Nightfalls. Her name is Otsutsuki. Otsutsuki? That name again? But hold on a second, what happened to Madara? Madara had a companion. The Seven is on the move! Sasuke, with his life. Sasuke, Sakura, let go! Sasuke was working with him to carry out the things of the young. Let me you! Go, Aura! Kamikichi! Naruto, Sakura, let's end this! <laughs> but once Madara confirmed the plan to be completed, Zetsu betrayed him. Huh? Why? Zetsu wasn't a true friend to Madara. He was actually working to resurrect Kage. He used infinite Tsukuyomi to gather chocolate for the resurrection. Eventually, himself was used as the vessel. Madara, he was so powerful. I can't believe he ended up like this. So we're moving on. was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke, and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! <laughs> you can't cut your connection to me! This connection that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! 
The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And Naruto! My connection to you is the most irritating one of all! Was the fight in Obito, Madara, and Kaguya? Dad ends up crashing to Sasuke? That's right. That's all we can call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal. He fought and fought to see it through. But Dad still refused to give up on him. The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon apply to an entire new journey. By giving and receiving support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Doing this. I'm right here. What's wrong with you? Right here. What are you? Let's finish this. This battle. All of our battles! It's time. Are you ready? They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life-or-death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remained. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend. And that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. The light? Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like... My dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk within the light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari?
Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows, with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world. Now, let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories, resurrect here and now. Destroying what you built with your own hands. I'm not going to let that happen. Just like you once stopped me. I'm going to put my life on the line to stop you. You're a tough one. Unlike you, I'm laying my life on the line. Let's go. Burn it all away. Why are you getting in my way? It's so annoying. What is with you? Just what? What are you? Just what are you? We're friends! What do you want? What are you trying to do? Why are you so obsessed with me? Because we're friends! Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Because we're friends. <laughs> Loser.
Let me ask you. Just what are you then? Are you still under the control of that nobody, Mertz? Or... <laughs> I think I've already told you several times by now. I'm... Your friend, you know? Done. Bordo. What have I been doing? Are you back to normal? What are you saying? Why aren't they fighting? What is going on? Impossible! Our plan was going so well. Why did the mind control suddenly stop? Nanashi, was it you? I didn't do anything. Really? You didn't stop this after feeling sympathetic for the boy? Not at all. Then why? It doesn't matter. Even without it, as long as I am alive, Zero still has the advantage. Yes, but do you know how much we spent to get this far? Just focus on your surroundings. Huh? Multiple Leaf Ninja detected around our hideout. They already have a lock on our location. How is that possible? They are foolish, but not stupid. They know we're out here, and have been searching for us. What? But how? The only information out there on Zero is sketchy at best. They could have someone as good as you. As good as me? Could it be... Katasuke-sensei? In any case, intercept anyone who comes near the hideout. Go. Sir! Mm. Everything is going awry. How could this happen? <laughs> <laughs> this is getting interesting. Geez, you didn't hold back, did you? You didn't either. We don't have time to rest. It's not over yet. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yeah. We've succeeded in reviving the memories. The ninja world has been brought back to normal. <sighs> Thank goodness. What do you want to do now? That's... Nanashi Uchiha's memory. I didn't think there would be more. Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? Who is this guy? 
Oh, it's just a kid. It's easy to handle them when you can see what they're thinking so clearly. I can just have kids like him read the manual or something. Come on, just tell me! You already know what's on this page 13. He's so demanding. Nanashi! He's talking to me again. Did you see what I just did? What is so fun about talking to me? Hey! He's here again today. I guess I can hang out with him a little. But don't you want to have some fun? What's that? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. What is with him? You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. He's right. Why did I help him of my own accord? Hey, you finally called me by my name. He noticed. However, it doesn't feel too weird. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. F friends? Did he just call me his friend? Oh. That's nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry, Boruto. I just can't forgive Ninja. The more I think about it, the more this dark feeling bubbles up inside me. But I want to save Boruto. Oh. It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I knew it. I knew she wasn't a bad guy. Living through her harsh past, never being treated like a person. I'm sure Nana, she was very happy that you reached out to her. However, she was also a prisoner of her hatred. It seemed that she was deeply conflicted about it. Boruto, let me ask you again. What do you plan to do now? I'm gonna go talk to her again. Even if she might not want to listen. Even then, nothing can start if we don't talk. Besides, she'll understand, because she's not a bad guy. So you trust her? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> Go then. Yeah! The child is strong. Oh, right! He gave me a communication device! This is Boruto. What's going on? Oh, Boruto, can you hear me? This is Sarada. I can hear you! I'm going to ask you point blank. Did you do it? You did, right? Yeah, I nailed it! Good. What about you? Did you find the hideout? Mitsuki, try the right side. Yeah, there. Sarda. Oh, sorry. We're in the middle of looking for the hideout. I think we'll find it soon. Sounds like you guys are on it. Yeah, the tracking ninja tool Katasuke Sensei invented really came in handy. Besides, the mission in the woods? That was the spot. When we used the ninja tool to scan the lingering traces of chakra, we were able to detect a number of suspicious ones. 
One of them was the chakra belonging to someone named Teguse. When we followed it, we were able to narrow down the location. I see. Props to Mr. Kataske. Puerto, what are you going to do now? I'll head over there too. We can't let Zero get away with this. I thought you'd say that. Okay, I'll tell you where we're looking. You know Mount Higakure, northwest of the Hidden Leaf Village? There's a crevice that stretches about 10 kilometers in the southern district. Sarada, watch out! Sarada! Hey, Sarada! Damn it, what's going on? Boruto. They attacked us. We managed to hide. But Shikadai and the others were taken away. Damn. However, thanks to that, we know where their hideout is. I've left markings every 50 meters. The 30th is the last one. Just head straight from there and you'll find their hideout. Got it. I'll do the rest. You guys get back to the village. You're going in alone? That's too dangerous. I know. <sighs> There's no stopping you, is there? Mitsuki, take care of Sarada. Okay. Once I get Sarada to Hidden Leaf, I'll come with some backup as soon as I can. Okay. Boruto, what about Nanashi? I was able to learn a little more about her. What she's done, what she's been thinking. She's hated the ninja world for so long, but she's also in a lot of pain. If she weren't, she wouldn't have looked at us like that. I'm gonna try to talk to her again. Don't mess up. I won't. There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad. A weapon does not need a kind name. Not as she will be perfect for you. Endure the pain for your clan. And quit your crying! Crying won't get you anywhere! Hey... Do you think they'll come rescue us? I don't know. If he took care of things on his end, they'll come eventually. Hmm. I see. They're increasing the strength of the rope by continuously channeling trace amounts of chakra. Quite ingenious, Teguse. <laughs> what a sore sight you are, Katasuke Sensei. I was a little worried when you guys were approaching the hideout. But as you can see, we captured you. However, I didn't expect the mind control I had over the entire ninja world to be broken so easily. That was your doing, wasn't it, Katasuke-sensei? How did you do it? The mind control failed. Is that true? So that means he... He did it! Hmm? Wait a second, what are you saying? So do you mean that it wasn't actually you who was behind it? All right. 
Then who was it? It was me. <laughs> who are you? Naruto! Hmm? Hold on, you're... The ninja who stopped the Otsutsuki invasion, and the seventh Hokage's brave son. So you know about me? I wasn't expecting that. When our plan was realized, I considered eradicating all of the clans connected to the Kage. Therefore, I had looked into you as well. I apologize for investigating you without your permission. It's fine. Either way, everything you've done won't matter anymore. <laughs> well, welcome to Zero's hideout. You're Mertz. Indeed I am. The leader of Zero, and the entity guiding this ninja world. The one who shall surpass pain and ascend to become a true god. It's almost laughable when they bluff this much. <laughs> I don't expect a child like you to understand. I guess that it would be foolish of me if I asked what you came to do. I assume that you've come to rescue the captives and to destroy our organization. Is that right? Glad we're on the same page. Makes things easier. However, there's one more thing I want to do. I'm going to save Nanashi, who you're just using. Really? Let me talk to her! <laughs> you heard him. <clears throat> Nanashi! I'm here because I want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. You might not, but I have a lot. You're persistent. In game and out. Just leave me alone. Just turn right around and go home. You know I can't. I mean, I finally got to meet the real you. Look, we're finally able to talk face to face. I found her. She's Nanashi Uchiha. Get her! Seal her up! <laughs> Nanashi! Just leave, or else. When I leave, you're coming too. You really are stupid. I'm not gonna fight you. You're too persistent. Honestly. Just get out of my face! <sighs> Here goes! How long were you planning to help Zero? Until the ninja world is destroyed. Do you really want to destroy it? Will that satisfy you? Of course. I think it will finally disappear once the ninja world is obliterated. Look, I know you had a terrible past. I've seen it. How would you know about my past? Don't talk about things you don't know. I do know. I know about you being treated like a weapon. And how you were imprisoned. Unjustly. But doing this isn't going to save you. Fire style, you fireball! What do you know about me? I hate the ninja world. But I've had this feeling for as long as I can remember. Do you think you know what it's like after meeting me for a few days? You can't! The memories haunt me. The anger will never leave me. No father. No mother. The despair of knowing no one will save me. How could you ever understand? Nanashi. <sighs> to be honest. I thought that if I just talked to you, I was sure I'd be able to get you to change your mind. 
I guess that in the end I was just being naive. <laughs> Thinking about it now, you're right. I've only known you a few days. It's stupid to say I understand you. Our lives are so different. In the world that I'm from, there's little hardship. But you were born during the Warring States period and used for war. What you've been carrying inside your heart? I didn't realize it's so dark and heavy. We're standing in completely different places. You finally understand. We have nothing in common. But that doesn't mean I'm giving up on you. Huh? Because if we're in different places... We just need to get close to each other. What? To fully understand what you're feeling, I need more time. All the suffering that you've endured, I haven't had a chance to understand it. But that's just for now. You don't need to do it all at once, but just please tell me about yourself. Tell me what you have bottled up inside. Then we can think about what we can do. Little by little, at your own pace, let's replace those bad memories with fun ones. At the least, by playing Ninja Heroes, I got to know you some. It was a lot of fun. For me. <sighs> we aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. Which means, it's not as if we can't. We're friends. You exist for the glory of the clan. Destroy our enemies, even if it means your death. You do not need emotions. You will spend the rest of your life as a weapon. Are you stupid? You must be stupid! I mean, were you even listening to what I said? I hate the ninja world! That's why I want to destroy the ninja world. Then my hatred will finally disappear! Replace my bad memories with fun ones? That's not what I want at all! I just want the ninja world destroyed! It doesn't matter what you say. I'm never going to change my mind! Hey, come on, don't lie. I'm not lying! Yes, you are! Stop! If you're not lying, then... Tell me this. Why are you crying? <laughs> Wait, you... You mean... Shut up! It's all your fault! Don't you get it? You're making me feel all confused about everything! Nanashi... Take care of what confuses you. Destroy Boruto. Eliminate your hesitation. Have the future you desire. A world without ninja. Just stop! Nanashi, you don't have to listen to him! You're just- I told you to shut up! Stop causing me pain! Stop! I can't... Leave me alone! Stop confusing me! You don't know anything. Stop trying to get inside my head! Yeah, that's right. I don't know anything. I just learned about your past, that's all. But I understand very well how much you have bottled up inside. You know what's causing you all that pain. What? So just tell me how much it hurts. This is not... Shut up! Here goes! This is not... Get lost. I'm going to die! I'm going to die! Get lost. Crush them! 
destroy the Senju! You have no siblings or parents. You will use your powers for the clan. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. Hey, is she the... It's better not to look at her. She's not like us. Don't worry, it's not what you think. I'm here because I want to talk to you. When I leave, you're coming too. You don't need to do it all at once, but just... Please, tell me about yourself. We aren't strangers. Not anymore, that's the truth. We're friends. What's your deal? What, huh? <gasps> Tell me why. Why are you always in my head? All these horrible memories inside my head. So why do I see your smiling face, too? Why does your face show up, even when I think you're a nuisance? Why? <gasps> why are you... Just like I told you before. I don't know your painful memories. That's simply the truth. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do about that. But... I can slowly replace your future with something fun. Maybe we could play Ninja Heroes. Or go somewhere with everyone together. Come on, let's do all the things you couldn't do before. I can do those things for you now, too. I wish... that you'd give me a chance. One last chance for you to not hate Ninja... and the Ninja world anymore. Boruto... You disappoint me, Nanashi. Were you not going to destroy the ninja world to avenge yourself? Was that not the source of your hatred? <laughs> In the end, you were just a child. I'm taking Nanashi. I have no need for something that is no longer of use to me. Take her. It doesn't matter. No use to you? Seriously? You just see Nanashi as a tool to use. You're doing the exact same thing that her clan did in the past. I'm nearly a god at this point. Feudal lords, the five Kage, the relics of the past. Every last thing, all of it, is beneath me now. And he sees you the same way. Are you okay with that? <laughs> I don't care how anyone sees me, as long as I can make my ninja tools. He's helped me create so many. I've never been happier. You're really starting to tick me off. But I'll take your offer and take Nanashi with me. Yes, I'll allow you to take her. Although, only after I have fully used her up. What do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nanashi! Uh, <laughs> What's going on? Young Lord! That's... <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? 
Did you think we broke her seal without any sort of plan? I'm extremely cautious by nature. The Forbidden Curse Tag. Have you heard of it before? First you set a curse tag on your target, and then you can use it to control them. You allow them some degree of freedom, but they will never betray the user. Additionally, you can even take full command over them, should the need arise. Don't you think that's the perfect way to control a living weapon? We've updated it to a modern version. What do you think about that hair ornament? <laughs> it's quite fashionable, don't you think? I'm the kind of man who cares about appearances. I still have a use left for her. To fulfill my wishes, I will draw forth the terrifying power of the weapon in its entirety. Now! Your shackles have been loosed! You're free to go all out, my weapon! Nashi! Boruto! Boruto, don't hesitate! Fight! Fight, or else you'll die! But... Don't worry. You just need to fight as you always do. If you can knock her unconscious, we'll be able to help her. I'm afraid it won't be that easy. <laughs> you are talking about an Uchiha weapon. A lowly Genin is no match for her. Boruto! You don't have time to think about it! Fight! <laughs> Nanashi, snap out of it! Can you hear me? Good. It's like you're not even listening to me. She's just a puppet now. <laughs> the freedom we so unwisely allowed her only created doubt. It appears that we will have to be in full control of her from now on. Damn it, those jerks! This is This is a surprise. I didn't think you could defeat Nanashi. Hmm. Perhaps she still retains some of her autonomy. That could be allowing her to hold back some of her powers. In other words, if I strengthen my control over her so she loses all sense of self... Are you okay? Huh? Oh. I think he's dead, that's that.
Nanashi. You're tough. <laughs> now this next blow will end. Just leave it to your dad and his friends. Now you've really done it. You'll pay. So the sinners have arrived. Sinners? You're one to talk. You're one to talk after sending the ninja world into chaos. <laughs> you have no idea just how big a sin you've committed. What do you mean? Our group's name is Zero. Because it is our mission to take the ninja world and reduce it to zero. And for what reason do we wish to reduce it to zero? When the world is in the midst of peace and prosperity? It's because this current world you've created is wrong. It must be corrected. Hmm. Sounds just like someone plotting a takeover. You are familiar with the underside of society. I expect you are well acquainted with the rampant spread of evil. But Zero is different. Everyone sought me out to change the world. While I may have been the one to form this organization, we are made up of people who willingly joined the cause. They volunteered to help and fully endorse my beliefs. What are you saying? I guess I should start with the end. You see, the world simply craves conflict. Living within a world of peace, a world of order, that may be satisfactory to you. However, peace eliminates conflict. And order defeats the entire purpose of ninja. This new age you created through the fourth great ninja war has created a rift of non-conflict behind the scenes. When the world doesn't seek conflict, where are the ones suffering in this rift supposed to go? They came to Zero, looking for the place they belong. Those who can only express themselves through fighting. Those who wish to test their strength. Mercenaries. Among them are some who lost their family in past conflicts and are looking for a way to release their anger. They seek conflict. They wish for a world where they can hurt, draw blood, and vent their emotions. They are seeking the reign of power, pain strived for. No way! Pain. Nagato, what he wanted was the peace that would come after. The methods you use. They're just encouraging conflict for no rhyme or reason. And what is the issue with that? History is cyclical. War ends, peace comes, and then we return to war. That is the way things are. Also, while I support Pain's beliefs, I don't wish to do everything he envisioned the same way. I am myself. I'll design my own era, one based on his ideology. In short, I'll destroy the current ninja world, and I will reinstate a time of war. Once that is accomplished...